Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. This is RCB, aka Rocket Catching Bob, and today I wanted to take a step back in the past and go over my TOS settings. Um, it was a previous video we released here on YouTube. It's a $250 setup I'm giving away for free. Um, there were some things that we missed and we wanted to elaborate on, so we remade this video to just make sure that we don't miss out on that. Maybe you um, haven't made these settings or used them yet then this will be helpful for you guys and also for the people who have made uh, this your own setup. Then let's kind of go back through it. Maybe there was something that you wanted to change to make it a little bit better. Um, as we've kind of progressed and, and just made some minor additions to it. So uh, let's kind of get started here. This is pretty much the, the layout that I have right now. And you can see it's very clean. Uh, you have nice volume candles on the bottom, and we can explain and expand a little bit more on those and how my personal indicators do work. Uh, so let's let's get started. First, you're going to go over to Setup, and whatever workplace that, or workspace that you're personally using, save it. Okay, don't delete it. Don't don't just hit reset right off the beginning. Make sure you save your own workspace because I want you to be able to go back to what you're using just in case you don't enjoy our settings. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's self-explanatory, right? So if you've done that, we're gonna go over to reset workspace to default right after. We're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna start 100% from scratch and we're gonna get to that layout, which I just showed you. Um, I'm gonna make it pretty quick. So because we, we already have this video, most people probably already have this, but there again, there are gonna be some additions to it, something to, to help you get exactly where I am actually using it today. Uh, so number one, the account info on the top left, let's just minimize that. No reason, don't need it. Um, live news, you can actually delete this one. Traders TV, delete. You wanna keep this watch list. This is very important, you're gonna need it. Um, and the chart below it, you don't really need it, but if you want to, keep it. Uh, another thing we're gonna do is actually change this number two to number one. It's actually your linking thing. It's gonna link your watch list to your actual chart. So anytime you click on a different ticker, it will change your chart, uh, your chart automatically. Uh, another thing here, we're gonna click on this cog symbol, hit customize, and we're gonna need a couple things. So uh, we need the ticker. We don't need last, so you can remove this. Net change. Uh, you can keep this if you want, but I remove it because I actually use percentage change. So we can see this is already over here to the left. If it's not there for you, you can just type in percentage, and then you can just double click it, or you can click add item. I drag mine up, and I put it at the top, so it's gonna be above bid and ask. And then I also look for percentage mark, because I like to use mark percentage change for after hours and pre-market purposes. Uh, after that, you're going to hit OK, and you should look pretty clean right here. You should have just like this. Bid, ask, your percentage that that stock might be up or down. Um, and the mark percentage change should really um, match it. The difference is in after hours, mark percentage change will actually keep on giving you green or red, while percentage change will just say zero. Um, and how you want to organize this is just by clicking it. So you can say, okay, which one's the worst or you know, which one's the best by just clicking on this and it'll kind of sort it for you. All right, so this is the left side of the page. That should be set for you. Next up, we wanna actually get this right side to be a chart. So you're gonna go up here to charts, click here. And mine actually has some lines drawn on it, which you may not. So I'm gonna actually remove these drawings because that's not something you'll probably see. So it should look like this. So you see how bland it is, kind of boring and all that. We're gonna we're gonna really spruce it up for you. So first things first, let's go up here to setup, and we're gonna go to application settings, and let's go down to look and feel. Make sure your settings look just like mine. They probably do, but if they don't, you know, just match them. And if you want your font size to be bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do there, you can edit that from here. Uh, another thing would be, let's see, there's another part over here. System. Go to system. Your quote speed should be in real time. No delay. Very important to make sure that you're on no delay. If you are, you should contact Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade to make sure that you can get uh, no delay in at the market timing. You're going to then click apply settings. All right. 
And the next thing we're going to do is actually add some studies, which will be the indicators. So if you go over to edit studies, you'll see that you're empty here. There's nothing under price or volume or whatnot here. So let's kind of go back up and we need to import some of those settings so we can use those. So you're going to do open shared item. And then if you go to my previous YouTube video, or if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll leave all the links here on the description here on YouTube. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is type in RCB auto trend line, which here is the link for it. If you don't see it, uh, I mean, it should be below in the description. So either way you can copy and paste it, click preview. It should bring it up auto trend line, and then you're going to click import. And then mine's going to say overwrite because I already have one. So I'll just overwrite it for you guys. Next, you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to copy the next link that's down in the description, which will be the SMAs. You're going to hit preview. Again, it should pop up just like so. You want to import that? Yes, you do. And lastly, the last thing you're going to have to import is enhanced volume. So again, open shared item, preview, enhanced volume. Okay, import. Beautiful. So you've done all that. Uh, if you guys get a little behind, I'm going too fast, just pause the video, rewind. Now we'll go back to edit studies, and we're going to actually add all those into this area. So number one, I'm just going to search RCB because this is going to be easier for me. Uh, so I got RCB auto trend line. I got RCB SMAs, RCB enhanced volume. Great. You have everything you need. There is one more that you need to add to this. And that's going to be VWAP. So VWAP, you want to search that on the left side, double click that to add it. And I want you guys to go to the settings. Maybe you like it being kind of like very small, whatnot. That's all up to you. Personally, I like to make my um, VWAP dashed and I have mine set on purple and now I have it on two. Cool. So uh, upper bands, you don't need to show the plots. You can actually take all those off. Just uncheck these. No reason to have them. Uh, VWAP, I guess we'll see you after I hit OK here if I need those or not. But not, I, I just hit Apply after this. So you have all four now. You've changed your settings for VWAP. So let's see what happens. So it makes it, it, makes it a lot prettier. So you're going to see some auto trend lines like this, little white dot dashed lines. And you're going to have some SMAs, which are these thicker uh, colored lines. And if we go over to maybe like, let me look at the one day now. It, it should look like this. All right. So we're not done yet. We actually have a few more things to do. So let's go back up to this cog symbol called chart settings. And we'll clean this up a little bit more. So the number one thing here in general that changes, and it's not for everybody because some people have this problem, some people don't. And this is one of the things that was from the last video that I've seen uh, people have issues with. Right here, you see overlap volume. Some people's are checked and some people's are not. Not really sure why. So just make sure you uncheck that, hit apply, just in case, okay? Next, go over to the price access uh, window. You're gonna hit auto. You're gonna see how this is lined up, all right? So fit study markers will stay checked, that's okay. Fit studies will uncheck, and then we'll actually go back and we'll check mark fit high to low. Hit apply. That that's going to clean up our chart a lot more too. It's going to keep the it's going to fit everything into your screen a little bit better, and you're not going to have so much of a gap of a bunch of white space. Up next, you have time access. Um, I uncheck options. I'm not really sure that this is important, but I do in the last video, so I'm going to do it here again. And then expansion area. This is kind of how how long your chart's going to be, left or right. I like to put it under a hundred candle bars or candles because that just gives me a lot more information on my screen, easier to read, easier to see. Um, so just keep that in mind. Up next is appearance. And we want to actually hit the check mark here on fill up the candles so they'll look prettier. Um, I actually have my original settings under color as symbol ticks down here at the bottom. And I think that's it. So I, that should actually clean it up a lot for you guys on your on your settings but the overlapping volume thing was actually kind of if your bars are coming up here on this screen for some reason and, and i'm not like pointing down here i'm pointing up here so let me just put it like this like if your bars are up here or you, they look kind of crowded or they don't look as clean as this check your overlapping volume setting which again is in chart settings under general 
and it's right here under layout. That was a big problem that I was seeing people um, who had took the first video and, and try to make those settings. Up next, I kind of want to go back over, you know, some of the other things. So we have our watch list here on the left, which is great. And you, you are tagged here. It says number one, right? And here's your chart, number one. So if you're tagging these two together and you want to look through these tickers or just click tickers, that's all you got to do. It links this left side watch list to your right side charting. Uh, some other questions I get a lot is kind of like how to use these volume candles at the bottom. So let me look at a, a ticker that's running right now or at least moving. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, I actually have very well lit candles and they don't really match what normal people use for, for charting. You might see, you know, when stocks come down or uh, maybe you get some rejection here, this candle's red. Well, my candles are much different. My candles are either, you know, green or red or very well lit green or bright red, right? So what this means is if you, if you look at it, like, let me try to make it simple. You see how this is a green candle and it had a lot of volume? If the next one has lower volume, it's going to be red no matter what. Each candle, it's less, it will be red. Each candle, it's more than the previous, it will be green. Now, the glowing candles are higher average relative volume to maybe like the past 30 minutes or the past hour or something like that. So this will give you more of an indication that, you know, someone came into the stock and bought a lot of shares and it just shows you this is a good spot to pay attention to on your overall and your bigger chart. Okay. Uh, another thing I like to use here, which we're kind of, you know, I just want to kind of show you guys because this is something I don't know what I talked about in the last video. I like to have live news up. I like to have level two and I like to have time and sells. Now it looks busy, but how I clean it up is I just scroll this down to the bottom. I actually scroll this as far as I can left without losing it. And I scroll this right side time and sells pretty much like this. So this looks a lot more like something you'd see on our Twitch stream where I'm trading off of everyday live, right? Does that help you guys? It probably helps you guys a lot here. So again, the VWAP we made purple and dashed and we made it a little thicker so it's easier to see. If you look at these SMAs, you see this blue line here? I have mine set with this is the 200 SMA. Now you have the 50, you have the uh, 20, and you have the 13 at EMAs. These four lines here, they're colored, you know, ignore the VWAP, which is dashed. These I use in particular setups and strategies that you can find more about by just watching our, you know, our Twitch channel and watching us trade live. There's specific setups where one's crossing the other, or maybe uh, maybe the daily is extended and the stock went from $1 to $10 and it's hitting this 200 SMA, um, it's going to have some high resistance and things like that. So there's just all kinds of things you can use these SMAs for. Um, you just want to look for those strategies. So, you know, I can't really explain everything in one video. So just heads up there. Uh, another thing we have is auto trend lines. So if you look here, you see how this automatic, this is kind of like, how do I explain this? You see there's dashed lines here, there's dashed lines there. It usually gives you three to four auto trend lines. It's trying to tell you the latest trend of the stock automatically. So you don't have to kind of in, come in and chart it and try to figure it out for yourself. And then you'll see this little blue arrow. So what it did is here it made a solid line saying, hey, we're paying attention to this trend line right now. We think this is in uh, this kind of you know, bearish trend line, or this isn't a down thing. What happened here with this up arrow, it actually thought, it thought it was going to break out. It thought it was going to break out. It saw this candle like a little bit above this trend line. And this little blue, blue arrow is trying to tell you that it thinks that maybe that trend might change. Now, if it goes the other way, you'll see an arrow kind of pointing, and I can't really do it right now. You'll see an arrow pointing down and it'll be like this. But that's whenever you have like an uptrend like this or something like that, and it's starting to break down. So it's just trying to inform you that potentially this trend might be changing in one way or another. Okay, so I know a lot of people ask about that, and I really hope this helps you at least get you started. Because I know you're, you're, you're taking my word for it and you're trying out the settings here. They're super helpful. This is something I've been trading with for, I don't know, two or three years now. 
and it is extremely helpful, extremely easy. Give it like three to four months of using it. Find some particular niche plays or strategies that work for you and just keep going with it. You can expand on these settings if you want to. Um, one other thing I want to show you guys before we're kind of going to wrap up this video is some easy shortcuts, some just simplistic stuff that maybe you should know while you're just kind of coming in new to TOS. So if you have a, mo a mouse scroller, this is a little shortcut. Just click in your mouse scroller and you'll get a toolbar, just like so. If you want to move the chart around, you want to use the hand, okay? You can just click, left click, hold, and you can move it wherever you want to, okay? If you want to click your mouse wheel back in again and you want to use this little line here, what I do every time I load up a chart, I'll show you an example. I click this chart, okay? Of course, you can left click and drag so you can kind of zoom in on that area, right? Okay, let me just start over and show you something different though. Instead, scroll this right side down just a tad like so, and then it'll, it will allow you to draw a rectangle around the specific area so you can really zoom in on it a lot better and have a better indication of what you think might happen instead of kind of like, here, we'll give you another one. Double left click, bang, bang, you're back to the beginning, okay? So again, I'll take you back through that. You scroll down, make a rectangle out of it, zoom in. That's how you do that. Double left click resets you. And if you wanted to go the other way, you could just scroll. You just, you know, keep doing this until it gets to the zoomed in part that you like the most. But personally, I like to try to just make a rectangle and get as close as I can. So it's just so much easier to see. <clears throat> um, there's some other things here. So let me, let me actually remove these drawing lines real, real quick. I don't want to make this video too long. So if you see here, there's a little downtrend and you wanted to actually chart that. You just take this, take this key or this tool here and you just draw that line and yours is probably going to be red. So how you change that is you actually come back over here to this line. You're going to right click on it and you're going to go to edit properties. Okay. When you're doing this, go back down here to color. You can change it to whatever color you'd like. If you want it to be, let's just say yellow and you like that it's dashed and you want to maybe make it huge. Okay. Make it huge. Hit okay. Now, bang, every time, you know, you, you try to draw a line, you can change that. You can make this your default if you want. Um, another thing is just, you know, if you want to save it as default, you just click that. But personally, I just, you know, I like to keep it white, dashed, long line, so it's really clean, easy to see. And I think that's a lot. That, that should help you guys uh, with your new TOS setup. If it's your first time setting it up, I really hope you enjoy it. If it's your second time, you're coming back here just to rewatch the video and see the newest, latest, greatest settings, then that's great too. I hope that this really does help you. Again, it's $250 for free. And, um, you know, I'm out here to help you guys. If you guys want to learn more about trading and you want to trade with us live on Twitch, which is free, come over and see us. You can search Rocket Catch and Bob or you can just, you know, type in twitch.tv slash Rocket Catch and Bob. And uh, we go live Monday through Friday, 8.30 until about noon or lunchtime area, depending on how hot it is out there. Um, and again, if you like the video here, leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.